Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, baby? Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> it has been a minute since we did a episode of Truck Chronicles. So, bringing that old classic bike to y'all on this video, baby. Bringing that old classic bike. That truck chronicles, that nighttime truck chronicles. Y'all remember that? Somebody put that in the comments real quick, baby. As you watching this video, put that thing in the comments. Say nighttime truck chronicles, baby. Let's go, Auntie. Let's kick this thing off, baby. <laughs> Let's kick this thing off, baby. Nighttime truck chronicles in this thing. So I'm headed to go get the kids, pick them up, get them home. I'm actually about to get ready to jump on our session tonight with our members of Latoya Okia Academy. If you are looking for a coach, y'all, if you're looking for a family of other chosen ones that's just like you, y'all know the chosen one ain't welcome in their own hometown. The chosen one ain't welcome amongst your own friends and family members sometimes. Your gifts and your talents are hardly ever accepted by the people that know you the most so like i said they think they know you but they don't know the real you okay the real you is is about to be revealed in this season and god is going to show everybody what they've been sleeping on what they missed out on and you need to get in a in a community where you can grow where you can develop where you can learn more about yourself learn more uh about the, the spiritual development process the transformational process this membership is for you it's only 47 dollars a month it's for you if you want to grow spiritually you want to develop spiritually i meet with my students every week i'm not an instructor that's gonna throw you out there and give you a whole bunch of videos i meet with my students every single tuesday and we do live mentoring live coaching i have some of my other coaches that have been trained and certified that are also going to be doing coaching in there as well so you're going to get a whole bunch of value baby for only 47 dollars a month so i'm excited about that tonight um like i said i'm about to go pick the kids up i'm excited about that because we usually do our sessions in the morning but we switch that thing up baby y'all hold on because i got to pay attention to the road too I got this light on right here so y'all can see me. Make sure y'all can see me good. <laughs> Make sure you can see me for nighttime truck chronicles. These folks driving crazy. Folks got this signal light on and ain't even turning. So y'all got to excuse me because I'm talking to y'all and I got to watch the road too. Okay. So like I was <laughs> like I was saying, I'm excited about our session tonight. We switch things up. We usually do our sessions Tuesday morning at 10.30 a.m., but this week we switched it up. We moved it to the evening time. So we're gonna start tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, just excited about what God is doing in there. I'm seeing all of my students. I'm seeing, I'm seeing transformation for anybody that wants it. Anybody that wants it, anybody that comes in, attends the, the sessions every week, watches the replay when they can't make it do the work those are the students that's getting transformation those are the students that their life is changing before their eyes their personality is changing before their eyes they are becoming a whole nother woman becoming a whole nother man so i really want y'all to be a part of that you've been watching the videos you like what you're getting on the videos and you feel led to take that next step come on in come on in baby and we're gonna be waiting for you on the other side and i hope i get a chance to connect with you and see you on the zooms that we have every tuesday but i i was led to come on here like i said i'm picking up the kids i was led to come on here real quick and record this video for y'all self-development is key that's what i want to tell y'all that's what i want to tell y'all i want you to put that in the comments too i want you to grab a journal get your blue ink pen write that down if you can self-development is key in order for you to really be transformed in order for you to get to the new way of life that god has for you to become the divine version of yourself you will not be able to get there without self-development you must get in a place spiritually mentally emotionally physically you must get in a place where you can grow develop and evolve you have to find that place where you can just stretch out and you can make mistakes if you need to make mistakes 
learn from those mistakes where you can become a place that you can become more familiar with yourself meaning i remember when i first started my self-development process it was so much about me that i didn't know it was so many talents and gifts and it was so many uh levels and dynamics of my personality that i didn't even know that i didn't even know about until i started self-developing until i started reading until i started studying until i started getting in in new environments and exposing my mind to 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 new places and new people and new experiences the more my mind started to stretch the more i began to evolve and self-develop i saw things about myself that i never saw before it's like self-development it opens your eyes it takes the blindfold off of you the more you get new information new knowledge the more you meditate the more you spend time in god's presence the more you journal i encourage y'all to journal out your negative emotions your negative feelings don't keep that bottled in don't hold that in um i grew up in church all my life and that's a big thing that was a big thing in the church is like first of all growing up in church and then being black being african-american that ain't something that that is discussed like that that ain't something that's talked about like that like you just taught to give it to god and everything gonna be all right like god gonna fight your battles you you let god work it out won't god won't he do it you know glory to god god got you and you ain't got to worry about that just give it to god and leave it alone but and i get that i understand that but that's not y'all know that ain't realistic <laughs> for a lot of people that's not realistic it's like yeah but I'm, I'm still having to deal with how am i supposed to process through all of this stuff that's that i'm dealing with that i'm seeing on a day-to-day -day basis all of these thoughts that's in my head all of these negative negative emotions and feelings and you know depression and frustration and anger it's so much that you have to deal with and one of the ways that helped me to be able to deal with all of that mess in my head and all of that um toxicity that i picked up from the world was by journaling i started writing this stuff down and i teach this method i teach this method to my students that you need to always keep you a journal with you blue ink pen go watch the video i did i'll link it below if i remember <laughs> but you can google you can search it too on youtube why the blue ink pen i made a video about that and i discuss it and teach about it even more in depth in my barbecue or mildew master class uh, i'll link that below too in the description for y'all but you can also go to latoyaokeaacademy.com and you'll see that course on on the academy website if you want more and I, I go more in depth when i'm teaching more about it but there's a free video about it here on youtube too but that's one of the reasons why i i push that so much to my students is because that was key for me self-development was key for me and part of that self-development was me writing down my negative emotions writing down my feelings when you when you keep those thoughts inside when you keep them bottled inside and you just you never let it out you never talk to anybody about it you never write it down you never pray about it you just deal with it and mental note stuff but you never actually write it down oh baby the enemy loves it he loves it when you do that he love it because he wants you to keep the enemy that's in your head. He wants you to keep that enemy in there because when things are in your head, they seem bigger than what they really is. They seem more powerful than what they really are. Until you get a, a journal and a pen and you start writing this stuff down. This is a biblical success principle. The Bible tells us in Habakkuk 2 and 2 to write the vision and make it plain. Not only just your vision, but it's a lot of other things that you got to be writing down too, like the negative things the negative emotions the negative feelings i would start writing this stuff down as prayers to god and i would release it all to god that's something that i recommend that y'all do that is a part of your self-development that's a part of you growing that's a part of your transformation and i teach my students this method that you are externalizing the enemy you are taking the enemy that is within 
and you are externalizing him, meaning you putting him on paper, you putting him on the outside so that you can see what's been defeating you, what has been stopping you. This is what's been blocking your transformation. And once you put it on paper, you now have a physical opponent that you can fight. Writing it down makes you more aware. It increases your awareness. So now those thoughts that would normally just slip by you, you catch it. You start to catch it and you say, oh, no, 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 no. I just thought that thought again. I just, there go that depression trying to sneak back on me again. See, it's in, it's in the awareness. You got to start being conscious about what you think and what you're saying so that you can catch it and you can stop it. And so the key is about to get in the truck. So I'm gonna have to end this video. I'm gonna pick it. I'm gonna pick this back up on another, on another, um, video. We'll do a continuation of it. Cause when they get in here and when, uh, the, the, the staff come to the truck, they start talking to me and it completely throw me off from what I was saying. <laughs> so I hate to end it y'all, but I got to end it, but we're going to do a continuation of this. Self-development is key. Part of your self-development is journaling, writing down your negative emotions and feelings. Okay. So I'll check back in with y'all in just a little bit.